Hello friends, I made this for. My name is Lauren and today I am doing a collective tarot reading around this full moon and eclipse, full moon in Taurus. Aren't you excited? You're getting like three videos in one week. I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things. How fucking cute is that? Anywho, I'm going to be using my favorite, um, you know the deal, my uh, Smith weight deck. I'm going to do a little shuffle. And I'm also going to be pulling um, a card from this Oracle deck, the Vessel Oracle deck. You might have, I, I still need to do a Oracle, Andy Oracle review of this deck. It's it's an interesting one. You'll see, you'll see. But anyway, um, yeah, I've been on a little hiatus to get back to working full time and, you know, moving, all that good stuff. I'm usually, I used to be in Philly, now I'm in Lansdowne, PA. Anywho, real vibe is only. Yas, Queen, Slay, boots the house down. How are you? Have you been drinking water? Have you been writing down? Um, what's been coming up this eclipse season? The nodes are in Taurus and Scorpio. How has that been treating you, bestie? Links down below if you want to connect with me more. I'm also on TikTok, uh, Instagram. Currently working on creating my own tarot deck, and so I do a lot of talking about tarot, blah, blah, blah. But if you've already been here, you already bugger know. Like, comment, subscribe. Do these things and share this with someone you love, hate, and lust after. Or maybe all three. That's kind of crazy, though. Um, and let's get into it. As always, please remember, this is a collective pool, so this is going to be keeping it vague, open for all of y'all out there. This full moon in Taurus, I feel like it's going to be illuminating all sorts of bullshit because you know it's that, <laughs> that election day hunty. So let's just, let's just keep it open. Let's, let's just ask real quick. What can we do? Or what is a card? Let's just start over. Let's just start over. Okay, first of all, let's just set the energy, set the space. Breathe. I don't know if that sound is going to pick up on the video, but whatever. A little singing bowl to help set the space, right? <sighs> I talked about in another video, uh, connecting with spirit is a, in that physical embodiment of that connection to spirit as being really big with Taurus as a reflection of the Hierophant. So what is a card card for our, our physical connection to spirit? What's a card to help us visualize that physical connection to spirit right now? Collectively. Knight of Swords. So if you've been here before, you already know the deal. I don't see this as people outside of us. I see this as who we're being asked to embody. Swords is is all about the mind and that inner workings of our brain like all of that shit and knights are action they are the fastest moving they are all about we're not fucking around we're moving we're doing the things we're not just watching we're acting so how this connects with our spiritual embodiment of the world this is a very literal term, I feel like, a very literal interpretation, but how we embody our connection to spirit is the actions we take, not the shit that we speak, right? It's not about the words that we put out there, but the actual action in order to make our, wor our, our world happen. And this means really, when we're talking about Knight of Swords, talking about how do we take our belief systems from here, just the concepts 
within our brain to the actions and, and how we move through the world. What does that mean? That might mean actually making a change, making some shit move for you, reaching out to a certain person. Maybe it means going, you know what, my current job is not really resonating with me or there needs to be a shift there in some way. My relationship needs a shift somewhere and I need to be the one activating the shift, moving in a way that is embodying my belief system. So that's what I'm taking from Knight of Swords. This is, uh, as I said, generally speaking, it's about the actions we take, not the shit we speak over and over again. In relationship to this being a very physical way, it's, it's going to be like, you know, we can talk a lot of talk, but we have to back it up with walk. We have to really show, like, instead of just talking about like, oh, Twitter is such a crazy place and there's all this little, little, little. What are you fucking going to do about it? Oh, I really don't like how this job is, is going and I really need some change there. What are you going to do about it? It's not about being passive. It's about being active. This is a very much a spiritual activating point. Now, this is really counteractive to what I usually say to folks um, around eclipse season, but this makes sense considering it's a voting day. Don't be passive. Vote in a way that is reflective of your value system. I couldn't, it couldn't be more real like as that. We embody our like connection to spirit by what we actually do. So are you going to just tweet about it on November 8th? Are you actually going to do something about it? Are you going to get involved? Are you going to support people who are doing the work at polling stations? Are you going to like... You know, for some people, there's intimidation that's happening at the polls. Are you going to, like, maybe actively call and report that shit because it's not right? People shouldn't be intimidating you, right? People shouldn't be making you feel bad. People shouldn't be, like, telling you what to do. You take the action. Be the action you want to see in the world. And that doesn't mean be violent, but it means do the things you're supposed to do if you believe a certain way. Like, that's my takeaway from this. What is yours? Let's, let's follow that up. Let's follow that up with what's a card Let's see. What am I thinking? <laughs> what am I thinking? Um... What is a medicine card around this pursuit of action? What is a medicine card around this idea of pursuing the actions, being that change? Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles comes to us as a reminder to conserve your energy, your resources, but also acknowledge that there is shit right beneath your feet that is waiting for you to utilize when it is time. When we see this card, we can see this like king figure in front of a city and almost like being like, please don't take my stuff, please. Now, sometimes people, and sometimes myself included, can see this card as a, like, well, you're being selfish, you don't want to share with folks. When it's in relationship to this, it means be mindful of where you're sharing that energy, where your output is. Yes, take action, but also know that you have to be conservative with the energy you put out there because it's a long time. It's a long game, and we have to know when to hold them, when to fold them. It's not always about how to, to just pursue the most, add the most. It's, it's, it's knowing when and where that energy needs to change. So yeah, 
Sometimes it's all about the output and we need to be the change we want to see in the world. But we also need to recognize that this is a six month pattern. Okay, everything that happens with this eclipse is going to be repeated. A lot of these themes are going to come back in six months. So we have to be mindful of, of even though this is all about action, do it mindfully still. Do the action that you need to do, knowing that it's about the little crumbs that we leave behind. Be mindful of how much energy that actually is and how much physically you can afford to put out there without completely getting burnt out. Because let's be honest, fam, clip season gonna burn you the fuck out. Yes, sir, it is. Because you want to know why? It's exhausting. It's fucking exhausting. And that's okay. You're allowed to be tired. You're allowed to be worn out. In one of my other videos, I talked about take time to take care of yourself. Don't don't use this time as like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't do all this ritual. No. A ritual can be taking a nap, taking a bath, taking a time to just sit down and draw. Or journal. Like seriously, that's huge fucking magic. I don't know. Find pleasure in the little things. That's ritual. That's fucking ritual. All things are ritual. Last card from this deck. Let's pull a card for... So, to just recap. Take action. Do Be the change you want to see in the world. But be mindful that we have to conserve our energy for the long haul. This is not a, a short game, it's a long game, right? So, with that said, what's going to be just a card for this next, for for the lessons that are following up in six months? Like, what what is a, what is a collective medicine card to support us from this full moon and forward? Let's just, like, a little reminder, a little medicine card, a little, little like sticky note from the universe, as it were. A little, a little sticky note from the universe. Six of Cups, Six of Cups, babies. Six of Cups comes as a reminder that we can look back to our childhood like whimsy that might be fucking hard and this isn't to say we need to look at the past through rose-colored glasses but we always need to remember that we can be gentle with ourselves sometimes this is too like this is us and our, our younger self sometimes this is us and our inner child sometimes this is us and the people we care about sometimes this is the this is us and the people care about us are coming to us as reminders of our, our of our childlike joy that we can tap into six of cups is also when we're thinking about cups this is um the subconscious this is the heart this is our soul's um connection to our emotions right so this can come to us as a reminder of our our value system that we are pursuing our spiritual gifts that we are putting into the real world Yes, there's a physical connection here, and that's like the energy of our output. But it's also when we're connecting back to our spiritual like self and connection, we have to remember to have fun with it still. We're we're like have that one that that wonderment, <laughs> that wonderment if that's a word. We can't always take it so seriously and be so doom and gloom. We do have to take moments of where can we gold mine the shadows? Where can we see in this darkness that there is still joy, there's still love, there's still fulfillment, and there's still heart connection? That can sometimes be with how we just connect back to ourselves. That can also be how we connect back to people in our communities. And how do we nurture those beautiful parts of ourselves? Sixes are also good resting points. This is where we have some strength and connection a lot like the fours, sometimes a little bit like the fours. This is where we can take a breath. There is expansion and contraction in the tarot, just as there is everywhere. 
And what will help us moving through this full moon and then in the next six months is really just reminding ourselves that we can connect back to our heart in a really wholesome way. Wholesome is the word that comes to me with the Six of Cups. Where can we continue to really connect to wholesome um, joy? Because shit, fuck shit is everywhere. But what's the point of our spiritual work if there is not also joy? Come on, y'all. Sometimes shit's fucked up, but also... We have those that we can reach out to. We have community. We can find solace in. We have what we need. It's not always available, uh, apparent, but it's always available. And that goes back to this one. Sometimes the shit that's most that, that we need to recognize is that we have more resources right under our feet. And that is community. Community is not always accessible, especially if, you know, the, the community looks different to different people and is accessible in different ways. So that might mean physically going outside. If you can't physically go outside because of, you know, the panorama, connecting where you can and finding those resources where you might least expect them. But now let's pull an oracle card, right? Right, my little baddies? What's just a little, a little, little like theme to sum it all up? What's a, what's a like, a little bow to put this whole thing into perspective? Specifically for this full moon. This is from the Vessel deck. What's one last little bow, cherry on top, right? Abundance. Abundance in this cups, I really like with these cups that I see, I really, I really enjoy that. Abundance, the overflowing. How do we give and receive to those in our community that light us up, that remind us that it's not all doom and gloom? Where do we have abundance that's under our own feet that we might not be aware of? And lastly, the abundance that is our energy and passions that we can overflow and share. We're not always going, we, we do have to sometimes, you know, conceal or not even conceal but just make sure we have enough to sh to like last us the time but abundance comes in so many ways abundance of joy abundance of actual physical materials and of course abundance in the untangible in the in the ways that we think the ways that we create patterns of abundance in our own life Abundance is not always in like the what we manifest or like abundance is in the acceptance of what we can change and what we can't. Knowing the difference and being able to say, I can reach out. I can overflow. I can reach out to friends and share the burden because I was there for them at another point. Abundance in the ebb and flow. Knowing that even though we might not have all the physical resources at our disposal because shit's getting getting hard, getting fun, kind of funny, there's also so much beauty in this world. There's also so much that we can grasp onto, even if it's just our spiritual knowledge and our spiritual power there's abundance in that and with this full moon in Taurus take stock I say that a lot I'm gonna be honest I say take stock a lot but I'm not fucking with you man I'm not fucking with you friends I'm not fucking with you y'all it's really about how do we make sense of it how do we really come home to accepting that we can reach out, we can be the cups, we can be the ones asking for help. 
And there is abundance even in the most difficult of times because abundance is not just money. We need to unpack that. We need to let that shit go. Abundance comes in so many ways. So let's think about that little cherry on top. How does that relate? How does that feel in your body? Does, is that something that you're kind of like not really feeling, vibing? Let me know down below. But until next time, thank you so much for being here. I hope tomorrow is the full moon eclipse and voting day. Please do whatever you can to support yourself, nourish yourself, um, and just use this eclipse, this like, this full moon eclipse to take care of you. Nourish your, your hierophant. You are the hierophant. You don't need anything else in this world. You can listen to you and your connection to God, spirit, spirit, the universe, whatever that looks like to you. Connect in a way that nourishes you and your unique connection. Maybe you have practices of connecting to a deity maybe you just need to put your feet in some dirt like do what feels really nourishing to your spiritual self on that day and that might be actions at the pole that might mean a lot of different things but the truth is I can't tell you what it's gonna be only you know and with that said I'm gonna leave you here feel free to check out the links down below or any of the videos and playlists popping up around my face. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I love you. Bye-bye.